guys, it's Angela with Andy Styles Boutique and welcome to our channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a repeat viewer, welcome back. If you're a subscriber, thank you guys. We love you. Thank you for rocking with us. Thank you for helping us grow our channel. I am doing a video on sublimation. I have a apron that I want to sublimate on and it is cotton. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to sublimate Put, I want to put my logo on the apron. I'll show you the apron. I'm going to put my logo on this cotton apron, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that with glitter vinyl. So if you are, um, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing. I'm inviting you to do that. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you know someone that would benefit from our video, please share it with them. I have to do a disclaimer. The dog is in here. I am dog sitting. So it's her bedtime, but um, she wants out of the room. But the, my husband is working downstairs and my grandson is taking his bath so he can get ready for school. So she's in here. So I'm going to apologize now. Dogs are like kids. When you need them to act right, they just don't. So anyway, hopefully I can get through this video without her making it unbearable. All right, so first things first, I want to go and grab my logo, which I've already done. I'm going to cancel the cut. So I went ahead and grabbed my logo, and that's the logo. Um, this is my logo here, and I sized it. It's 5.063 by 6.507. I sized it and then I created um, a shape. I opened up, a, a, I pulled the square out from Cricut and I sized it the same size as my image. Uh, so this is going to be my glitter uh, vinyl cutout. And then I'm going to use that to sublimate. Uh, that's going to be my sublimated image. So I'm going to use my favorite paper, which is the Koala paper. I will... Um, print this out in my Epson Echo Tank printer, Eco Tank printer, 4700. So I'm going to load the paper in, see the logo, Koala. So I'm going to put this in the printer. All right, so now I'm going to get ready to make it. So tell Cricut to make it. I didn't make this logo really large because I only had a certain amount of space to work with. And so I just wanted to make sure that I was working within the parameters that I had. I didn't want to make it complicated. So I sent that to the printer or I'm sending it to the printer, turning the pad to bleed off, turning on my system dialog, hitting print and Let's minimize this so I can go back in and get that print dialog. I want the best quality and I'm going to tell it to print. So this is very simple because my logo is in a square shape. Now, if your logo or if you were doing an image that had a different shape, then you want to size your, uh, your image to uh, fit, but you'd have to slice it. And I have videos on how to slice as well. So what I'll do, uh, this is easy. Um, it's something that I needed to do. So I wanted to go ahead and make a video. But I will do another uh, I, um, sublimation on using glitter vinyl. So I'll do another one. But I'm using white glitter vinyl. So I went ahead and cut my square out. But if you're looking to do this or recreate this, you can use... Um, vinyl uh you can use glitter vinyl in a uh, yellow a bright yellow white blue those are the ones that work best so i just pulled this off i'm just gonna iron it on and you will see me get this together so give me one second let me grab the image so it printed my image out all right so i'm done with the printer so let, I mean computer so I'm gonna put that down here first things first you're gonna iron on your glitter I have my heat press set at 600 degrees 
I'm sorry, not 600, 400 degrees for 60 seconds. So you just take your item. So in this case, it's my, let's see if you guys can see this. There we go. I'm just going to take my apron. I'm going to take my press and just smooth it out, move out any wrinkles and get out any moisture. This is a good habit to get into doing because there's moisture in these. So now I'm going to put my image. I'm going to iron my I'm going to iron the um where is my cover sheet? Hmm. There's a piece missing. Oh, let's use this. We're going to use this um that on. And you just want to make sure that it's going to stay on. You put your glitter on, glitter piece on first, iron it on. All right. So that is on there. Oops. It's a big, big piece of glitter <laughs> in the middle. All right. So now I'm going to cut my image. To scale. You could have had Cricut cut this out. But um I didn't. I probably should have and could have. Now you can line you're gonna line this up. You can line it up to where the, it just covers the whole image, like the whole thing. Some people uh, don't like to see the glitter part. I actually don't mind because to me it makes it look like it's a picture within a picture But it's just all your preference. So I just lined that up the way I wanted it So, you know when you're sublimating you have to have your parchment paper and you need to tape it down. So I'm going to Grab some tape handy dandy tape Wherever it's ended at I should do I should know better I should know better with this tape. All right, let's find it. Where is it? Okay. Some technical difficulties. <laughs> All right, I think I got it. I think so. All right, I see it. And that's it. This tape will bring, it will make me work. Always has. All right, come on. I see you. I think it's my fingernails, honestly. I think it's the nails. It's the nails. All right, so I got it. Um, I thought I had it. It's the nails. All right, let's do. Let's get our tape going. So I can't blame the tape this time. It's it's my finger. <laughs> Look, y'all. Ah, uh, okay. Let me get this going. And then I will tape it down and we'll get this video over. We'll get it done and over. It shouldn't take as long as it's taken, but me and this, my my inability to get this tape to love me, um, it does much better in my, um, in the tape dispenser. All right, so I'm going to stand up. All right, so I'm just going to get this to where I want it. And like I said, I don't mind 
having some of the glitter show and some people don't they want it perfect and uh, precise I'm a little more abstract so I don't mind the, the glitter. All right, so let's take it down. To me, the glitter gives it a little more oomph. All right, let me put that there. I need to find another the tape thing again. Hmm. I don't know what I did, but I honestly cannot blame the tape this time. All right, there it is. It's me, y'all. It's me. It is me. All right, so there's that. And I always say you can't take too much when you're sublimating. Those pesky gases. You want those gases to be pushed into the material versus out into the atmosphere. All right, so I have it taped down. I'll let you see. Don't judge me, y'all. <laughs> Don't judge my taping skills. So that's it taped down. Let's put this right here. All right, so now I'm going to still need this flower sack. But it's cold here I have the window open but it's cold but it's open because I want to make sure that I can move the gases out All right, so let me move this here and I am not sure what happened to my uh, that's when you're looking for something too hard right under your nose so here's my <laughs> parchment paper I'm just going to Take a little bit of this. And I'm gonna do that. Front and back, the one on the one on the top and the bottom. And I'm just gonna iron this on so it cricket cut off. So I have to let it warm back up. Oh that was a cable. I have to let it warm back up. How many of you guys struggle with Oh, I'm showing my business. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean for you guys to see all that. But how many of you guys struggle with keeping your craft room clean? I am uh, somewhat of a, a clean freak. Not really, but a little bit. I like to have things clean, and I like to be able to find stuff when I need it. And if my craft room gets too cluttered i have to stop i can no longer craft in it i have to stop and just clean how many of you guys go through that or is it just just let me know if it's just me so i'm putting this on 400 degrees for 60 seconds i'm applying a little pressure not a lot of pressure but just a, enough to where the gases will go the the heat will force the gases to go into the material and then instead of going out and about into the room, and then I will press the other half for 60 seconds. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we get. I promise you I will do another sublimation video on an image, on how to sublimate an image. And I'm going to go and grab some other color vinyl. I'm going to grab a yellow and a light blue, and we'll do a video with... Um, sublimating on those glitter vinyls as well so I promise you I will do that but this was like something that I needed when I um when I'm working or I want to try to especially if I'm doing epoxy or whatever I want to try to show that or it may not even make it to the epoxy realm it may just be me using it to um you know I'm nosy okay it may be me using it on video or whatever. I don't know. I, but right now, it's just me using it to save my clothes when I'm epoxying or working with glitter or something like that. And it does have a pocket. So if I need to stuff something in there, it can stuff in there. So I will show you what it looks like in a second. Looks like we are...
coming around the mountain. Now, this koala paper, I love it. Regardless of the limitations of my printer with the ink in it being on the blank, this this koala paper comes through. It's, it, it's koala for the win for me. All right, we're almost there, guys. All right, I think it's ready. All right. Okay, ready for the big reveal? I'm just going to take this. I have a trash can there, but I'm not going to ball it up so you guys don't have to suffer through with that. Here it is. Ooh, y'all see it? What do you think? Tell me what you think in the comments. Now, yeah, I could have um, cleaned that up, taken that white glitter off. But to me, because I have white in my, my um, logo, it kind of looks cute. All right, guys. So, yeah, try it. Give it a give it a, a go see if you can uh and if you start out with a, a square shape or an easy shape when you're sublimating or uh, using vinyl onto cotton you'll it, it's easier to, to to grab the the concept but yep yeah. all right guys thank you for hanging out i hope you learned something i hope this inspires you to go out and grab something and sublimate using glitter vinyl um all of my materials cricket vinyl um uh, cricket glitter vinyl um the paper was koala uh use my cricket maker so yeah like subscribe and share happy crafting